All right guys, it's Bob here, and uh, in this video I'm bringing you a case to fit your iPhone 5, or 5S of course. So, just put the iPhone aside a second and we'll bring it into shot. And here it is, it's the new Trent, Trentium Ultra Thin Rugged Case. Now, if we have a look round, quick round the box, you can see that we've got three switchable covers included in this one. Um, now I haven't fully opened it yet, so I'm not sure what all the colours are, that are, but I do know that one of them is that colour, so it's like the same as like the uh, the black or graphite iPhone. And if we just look a bit closer there, you can see that it's shock resistant, durable material, water resistant, switchable cover. Now, don't confuse that with waterproof. Please don't, otherwise you're going to end up with a rather expensive piece of landfill. Anyway, moving on, you can see we've got utrent.com on the side there and we've got some brief instructions on how to put it together now it actually comes as two parts if you exclude the uh, the back covers uh, so you've got like a, a rubber well you've got a, a solid one that goes actually on your phone and then a rubber one that goes over the back and it's got cutouts so that you can see your apple and you know and your camera works and everything and it just gives you some brief instructions on how to install it there so let's get inside see what we get. Quite a nice bit of packaging actually. The only bits I'm never keen on is these plastic trays, they're just not necessary, but the box is very nice. Right, so let's get that out of there. And that must be your back covers. Yeah, right. Oh, we've got one pre-installed. Right, so let's just get rid of that. And as you can see, you've got a clear shell on there that obviously will work for your touch. And we've got a very soft, rubbery part just there that sits over the home button. And we've got a, a clear window on there as well. And you can see the cutouts, and obviously that's big enough to take your 5S as well. Right, so let's see how this, I'm going to attempt fitting it to my iPhone, actually on camera, that's actually quite a good grip round there, Oops. and there we go, that's it, so it's got like a little lip that sits in over that ridge there, which uh, obviously will help to seal it better against water and the likes. So actually that's, that bit's, all of the weight is actually in that bit there, because this bit's actually very light. Looks very nice actually. Right, so, let's install the iPhone, I have got a a cover on there, just a screen cover, so uh, let's just have a look. So we'll put that into there, that over there. Yeah, it feels a bit odd that uh, it's, it's a bit sort of baggy that there, but uh, other than that, that's actually a very good fit. So this rubber part must obviously have little, uh, little uh, bits on the inside that press into the buttons there. Right, let's try that on. So, a little fiddly to fit, but not excessively for, uh, you know, considering that you're getting some protection out of this. I suppose you'd expect it to be a little more awkward to fit. Come on. You know, that actually seals onto there quite well. That's actually a really, just make sure that's all on. Yeah, that actually feels really good. Right, now, straight away, let's have a, just wake it up a second. Oh. Right, so those work perfectly well. There's absolutely nothing wrong with them. There's no extra pressure required or anything like that. I'm happy with that one there. Uh, this, not so happy with. Now, I'm not a big user of this because uh, I don't use the lock rotate on my phone but that's actually rather deep if I can show you it on camera so to get into there you can reach it yeah it's, it's not excessively deep but it is quite deep in but obviously it's a rugged case so you're going to need that protection put in there now yeah they've got some extra bits put in there so your front camera is clear 
and the sensors and everything are clear there. Let's have a look at the, yeah, that works absolutely fine. There's nothing wrong with uh, that either. And the bottom, obviously we've got port covers. That's not too deep, your uh, yeah, that's not too deep. Your lightning plug's gonna go into there absolutely fine. That clip shut. And that's a little deeper. It might it might cause problems with the uh, I suppose it might cause problems with some headphones, but I'm not a big uh, music listener on the go from the phone anyway. In fact I don't really listen to it from the phone at all, to be honest. So there you go. Uh, now let's have a look around the back here and have a look at these uh, interchangeable covers. You can see uh, Apple logo perfectly clearly through there. Looks like we've got ample room around there. I shouldn't think you'll see any problems with flashback from that. Now let's have a, I mean that, let me just check this. Yeah, I mean the screen works absolutely fine. So you can open applications, no problem there. Now let's have a look at these covers. That's not, oh it does clip on, there we go. Yeah, they need a little bit of pressure just to sort of ease them in all the way around. But uh, let's have a look at the other covers anyway. So that's that one. And let's get this one out. Well, one, two there should be, I think, in here. Oh, that's very nice. So you get like a, a gold colour and a silver colour. So let's try one of those on. I see, so they've just got, so these are plastic and they've just got a little angled lip there, if I can just show you that on camera. You can just see it's got a slight, there you go, that gives you a better picture of it. So you can see how it actually works and then of course you've got the cut out there. So let's try the gold one on the back, it's a nice colour. And push it in at that side. Yeah, it's quite a, you really got to sort of work at that. It maybe would be easier to um, change these while your phone wasn't in it. That's it. There we go. We're on. So there you go. That looks quite nice. So, you know, you can sort of fashion it up a little bit. Uh, and as far as I know, these are the only colours that you can get. Um, but obviously, I suppose there's a possibility they may do more in the future. Or I dare say you could even uh, touch them up yourself a bit. <laughs> Which, uh, yeah, you could have some quite uh, fancy designs put onto them. So yeah, there you go. So that is the uh, the Trentium Ultra Thin Rugged Case by Nutrent. So a big shout out to Nutrent for sending me this out for review. There will be a full write-up on my uh, site at bobloftech.co.uk within a few days. And... Uh, I'll definitely put it through its paces. I mean, it's, uh, it's definitely solid, very solid feel. So yeah, there you go, guys. Uh, let me know in the comments below, you know, what do you think? In fact, tell me, do you like the rugged sort of cases? Uh, and, you know, do you use them? If not, what case do you use? Okay, so I'll see you in the next one. Cheers, guys. See you.